So this is gonna be just get this lens out of here. Kind of a overview of some nice little paint jobs you can do to your rifle, your magazines, your scopes. I'm actually in the middle of a project for somebody else with a paint gun, so here I'll give you a sneak peek of these. Yeah, I mean, I gotta do probably one more coat on them, but doing some magazines. The gun will probably be a separate video when it's done. But the pattern of, and I'm a, my desk is a mess, but whatever. The pattern of the, the type of pattern I'm going for, it's supposed to be is obviously Tiger Stripe, so, you know, what I'm gonna do, uh, try to go the same, have the stripes going the same way, so, just took some electrical tape, stuck it to my desk, cut out some shapes, you know, um, did some cutting, and then, you know, just take it, you know, cut off a small strip, it there and then I'll take it out there and paint it. So the painting process is pretty much what you want your tiger stripes to be, that's what you paint um, first. So you paint, so I want the coyote tan, well it's not coyote tan, it's like some type of flat dark earth or something like that. But it's pretty much camo spray paint and it's, it's flat, you know, it has no real sheen to it, you know, for camouflage purposes, but I got the tan or the or the coyote tan or whatever you want to call it um, layer on the bottom and then I did um, well actually no this is actually backwards because I, I did this three times I painted the OD green or the dark earth whatever um, first didn't really like it put the tan and I was like oh I could do some tiger stripes because I did it on my scope and it looks pretty pretty dang mean so, um, yeah, that's that's what it's going to look like. Hopefully, the whole rifle will come together pretty soon. Um, but, yeah, I just uh, got to put my tiger strips on and show you the process. So, here we go. All right, so yeah, this is how it's gonna look. Um, the stripes, I'm not really worried about going the same way anymore. I was at first, but I was like, well, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to go like, you know, cause ti actual tiger stripes go the same way, but these ones slant this way and these ones are gonna slant this way. So what, it's gonna look s s badass anyway. So let's keep going.
section. I will. That looks so cool. Like already, you can tell. Like that's gonna look really sick. Uh, and the reason I'm not putting anything up here is because this is where the mag is gonna be inserted. Like so, I don't want to put any extra paint really on those surfaces because this is gonna be in the gun. Anytime, like if they're sitting in a mag pouch like that, you're still only gonna really see that part. Well, I'm not even in the frame. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the reason why I didn't paint these surfaces like right here is because that's gonna be in the gun, pretty much in a nutshell. Or if it's in a mag pouch sitting like that, like I said, on my hip, it's gonna be pointed upside down in the mag holster, like, up to here maybe so you're still only gonna see that part of the, the mag so but together like these just look amazing all right we're almost done all we gotta do is paint and let dry I might add a couple of things here and there but for the most part we'll keep it pretty relatively short all right let's get it did you get it done like turn that off uh, yeah so that's what's process is just about done um, I got a little bit but I might put a little bit right here to kind of help merge with that line but hopefully that looks good in the camera let's get it You're almost done once your magazines customized I put a link in the description for your magazines or your scopes anything that doesn't need an FFL to send it to me I can do it. Holla at your boy. Let's get it. It's just like I just got a little towel sitting on my outside couch out here on the porch. Let's see if I can close this door. I don't know if the fumes getting in my house. But you know, I just uh, kind of just touch them up like that. Maybe six to ten inches away. I don't want to get no spray paint on the camera, so. And, you know, just tell me, ooh, just a little overspray right there, my bad. We can fix that though. Um, you know, if you want something like this done to your equipment, either your scopes, magazines, um, uppers, lowers, I'll try to see if I can figure that out. Um, anything that doesn't need the FFL that goes on your guns, any type of lights, flashlights or laser pointers, Picatinny rails, rails themselves, triggers, we're gonna do it. And I would suggest even too that you go you go off of like your vegetation and your state to pick a gun, you know, color that kind of, because you never know when you're gonna have to use this in, actual, in the actual field. So, you know, I would go with the color that is mostly in your area. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that without my blinds tearing up because see what that is? That's greenery out there. So I'm going dark green and a little bit of tan just as a little light, maybe wood color. But yeah, that's my vegetation. I'll close the blinds for I break something. But yeah, we'll check back in with the process. All right, so I told you I was gonna give you a little bit of an update on the rifle that I'm working on. Um, these are just some of the mags. They still got a, another coat that I have to put on there, but they look decent. Um, you have to understand too, um, if you are ordering like a paint job on your, your equipment, magazines are gonna be the toughest, but I mean, you kind of have to already know that when you send your magazines to get painted, they're gonna get, you know, if you're using them a lot, they're gonna get, you know, you're just grabbing them and dropping them on the ground. They're gonna get torn up. So you gotta either kind of like that look or pretty much don't use the magazines all the time. So, you know, this might not last as long as I would want it to, but um, other than like Cerakote and things of that nature that are more permanent, I like to just use the spray paints just because you can, it's easy to just switch up the looks, you know, just by a quick sand and paint. But uh, 
does the job. It's specifically camo paint, so it doesn't, well, no, not, not this one, but the one for the other mags that I used to paint the scope. That looks so badass. Um, but yeah, the rifle's gonna come out dope. I, I, I'm really excited. Um, it's taken longer than I thought it would be to, to get it, you know, built and shipped because of coronavirus um, and the all the newer people coming in kind of and, and you know buying up a lot of the, the equipment and the, the guns and the firearms and the stuff that we use and we've been using we got a lot of people coming into the, the industry which is good I mean I, I respect people who want to get into it now uh, not maybe not as much as the people who are already in it like us who are already in the gun culture and things of that nature when we was telling people hey buy up ammunition when you can you know learn how to shoot when you can like go to the gun range as many times as you can like that type of thing and they didn't listen so now that the country's in the state it is in um, there's a lot more people getting into the sport um, for protection which is another which is a big thing that you know why you know I like making my, my guns look good because I like to use them. I like to go to the range. I like to train, you know, for things of that nature. But yeah, this is just an update on some of the magazines. Like I said, the gun itself is going to be in a, a whole different video. So, uh, and this gun as well. Or I should say the gun that this, this scope is going on. I'm doing a paint job on the magazines that the, that the gun has as well. Um, so, yeah, that, that'll be kind of cool to put that whole rifle together after it's all painted and done. But yeah, let's get back. All right, so we're back um, with our magazines and we are going to unveil what these beauties look like on camera. So this is gonna be our first magazine. Okay, first little strip. I'm just using my little knifey knife here to kind of uplift them so I don't scratch none of the paint before it really dries. The thing I like about this particular um, this particular paint is that it dries in 15 minutes. So uh, we missed we missed that section right there, but it's not too bad. It still looks good. Can't figure out whether that's paint or not. I think it is. Oh, curry. Okay. Okay. This thing is looking pretty nice already. Um, we kind of already had the pattern of the USA blocked out, and that was colored in green, so that's why that looks like that. But look at that texture. Oh man, that looks awesome. All right, let's finish this one up and get to the next mag so we can finish this video up. I don't want to be want it to be too long of a video. And that one we'll probably have to go back over can't really tell because there's so much OD green or whatever that color is but these 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 are not really meant to because like below here that's all it really counts because everything up here and up is going to be in the gun you know when you insert the magazine but uh yeah I like it let's get to the next one Some people they, they take apart the whole entire magazine, like you know, take the base plate off, take the springs out. I actually did that for 
For the M20, M, M and P1522 that I'm customizing, I actually did that. I took the the bottom base plates out, I took the springs out and the inside, you know, the feed ramp or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I did all that for that because, you know, I don't want to spray my internals pretty much because I want that spring to stay, you know, free of paint because I don't want it to stick or anything. So I took that out for that reason. But if this is just a complete mag and there's no open window, I don't see the point of taking it, you know, taking the magazine apart and doing all that foolishness. It's a magazine. It's supposed to be, you know, dealt with. Not like it's delicate or something. You're using this to go into battle with, so stop being a pansy about your fucking paint job. I just like it because it looks cool. Let's see. Separate these two. These look so badass. I can't stop saying that. I'm sorry. And what I was really going for was like a jungle look. So, obviously you see the the faint uh, tiger stripe going through, uh, especially when you kind of put them close together. They really shine. Look at that, that's badass. Whew, that might be the thumbnail right there, boom. How the tiger stripe you are, they are. But um, yeah, when you put them together, they really look nice. It looks like it was made like that, like it's supposed to be, you know, it's a real tiger strike. Uh, the, I'm not finished taking the, the tape off of this, so but this still looks good. It's just getting at that jungle, that jungle vibe, you know. Um, so yeah, let's finish up and end this video so you can see the finished product. Probably what I'll call this this design is I'll call it like a, a jungle tiger hybrid because it's half tiger stripes and half jungle camo. Um, and like I said earlier, you really want to tailor your paint scheme or your skin that you want to design. Or if you're having somebody design it for you, you want to just tell them how you want it, like how specific. Do you want to get? Do you just want a flat, or just a flat out, you know, a flat out paint job, or do you want, you know, designs, or do you want, um, like the hexa shapes? Because you know, there's easy materials that you can buy to make any sort of stencil shape you want. So, you know, if you can't do it with tape, you can really do it with like chicken chicken wire, which is pretty much like chicken fence that you put on, you know, around, you know, around the coop that has like a hex shape to it, and you could just lay that over whatever you're painting. You know, do your base coat first, and then lay that over, and then do the the design you want on the outside. Because even though it looks like weird and abstract, that's what I that's what I'm trying to go for is that abstract look, like because like faint tiger tiger stripe, but like an abstract jungle. That that looks so cool. So yeah, um, I'll do a separate video on this gun that I'm doing. Currently, I'm still trying to figure out some things with these magazines because, uh, as you can see, I, I painted the whole thing. I thought I could do get away with it because I painted this whole entire mag as well. But the spacing on the MP1522 is really finite and it's really small, so um, I couldn't really put the magazine in the gun with the paint um, on the top level. So I had to get some. Uh, had to get some some paint remover uh, and just you know tape it up to from here down and then use the paint remover on the outside show but it still has that rough look so I'm not really worried about it this is just kind of just an experiment because the gun that this is going to is also black and pink and it's, it's it was just an experiment it's going to a family member and they wanted it they wanted it to be pink so they're not picky about it being perfectly painted they just like that pink look so I'll make a separate video on that. But yeah, man. If you guys want any, uh, if you guys got any tips on any other paint jobs that you have done, definitely leave them in the comments. Uh, like I said, uh, is these are just pieces. Um, I'll try to do a video fairly quickly of 
my AR that this, these are going on. Um, I still have some Picatinny rails coming in that I have to spray. Uh, but I'll probably just put those on the gun and spray those while they're on the gun. Um, and do it like that. But yeah, this is it, man. If you like it, or you like what you see, like the content you see, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff that every other YouTuber tells you to do. I like that angle better right there. Boom. Um, but yeah, man, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button, man, so you can keep up with the build. <laughs> all right, peace.